Good day, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to be covering ETAP STAR device coordination and selectivity program. Before I do that, I'd like to give you an overview of ETAP and its features. Um, just a quick overview about uh, different modules that are part of the ETAP Enterprise program. Uh, ETAP is, uh, again, an enterprise program for power system analysis, operation, and design. Um, ETAP has been uh, used by many consulting companies and um, industrial as well as distribution uh, and generation facilities for uh, doing design and uh, analysis as well as operation of power systems. Um, ETAP is really a, a set of module, uh, modularized uh, systems that break down the power system components uh, for a purpose of uh, uh, doing the studies. Uh, one which uh, most of you are familiar with is network analysis. This is where you do studies such as simulation of load flow, uh, du device duty calculation using short circuit and CRIC standards, motor acceleration, arc flash studies, and harmonics. Uh, on the distribution side, uh, we have modules within ETAP for purpose of those uh, in that industry, which is uh, pr modules such as unbalanced load flow, capacitor placements, um, tab optimization, transmission line sag and um, tension, and ampacity. Um, and uh, interfaces to geographical information systems. Uh, the dynamic stability, dynamic and transient stability program also is another facet of ETAB Enterprise Solution combined with the DC system, uh, which provides DC, uh, DC load flow, short circuit, battery sizing, and so forth. There are other aspects of ETAB, of course, network analysis. Basically, this uh, is the bulk of the analysis modules. Um, ETAB, of course, ties into the real-time system, to the, your uh, metering system, to the substations and uh, sk existing uh, legacy SCADA systems that you have in the field uh, for the purpose of real-time simulation, intelligent load shedding, and energy management system. Uh, there will be uh, other webinars that cover these modules and the real-time simulation in the future. And, but what we're focusing on today, it would be on the device coordination. And the reason the device coordination is really presented as a different product is uh, that uh, many of uh, you as uh, engineers um, do studies, um, of the network analysis studies, but the device coordination is something that you would oftentimes refer to as you change the system or add a new load to the system. You need to reevaluate the coordination selectivity as well as the protection of the system. So it's, it's a very commonly used module within ETAP, and um, we will explore this module a little bit more in the next few minutes. Um, part of the ETAP Star family is also a hardware um, interface with the relay testing hardware that we refer to as our product, uh, which is ETAP Arts. But basically, Arts is just a hardware um, within ETAP, and there's also an interface between. Sorry. All panelists and attendees can now hear you. Sorry, folks, we had a small problem with the phone. We're going to continue forward at this point. Go back. No, you can. Yeah, I can go back a little bit. Um, I, am, I understand we had some problems with the uh, audio. I'm going to just quickly go back through the presentation. On the um, ETAB is an enterprise solution. We have network analysis um, uh, that does the system simulation um, and uh, for short circuit, load flow, motor acceleration, and so forth. Uh, distribution systems, unbalanced load flow, uh, dynamic transient stability, uh, DC systems. These are part of the simulation or network analysis module within ETAB Enterprise Solution. Um, as a part of ETA ETAB Enterprise Solution, there's a connectivity to the real-time system uh, which ties the ETAB module and the model that you have for power system analysis to the SCADA system, to the metering or substations for a purpose of doing monitoring, simulation, controls, playback, and uh, also doing optimization with real-time data such as uh, demand-side management, automatic generation control. Um, and, of course, uh, doing more uh, specific modules such as intelligent load shedding for purpose of fast load shedding actions and optimal circuit breaker combination. Um, there will be future webinars on these modules, so uh, I won't spend too much time on this. But the focus for today is device coordination selectivity, as I was mentioning. And the um, uh, ETAP Star is a product that does this within ETAP. And the reason it's a separate product is... As engineers, we spend a lot of time doing device coordination studies as we change the system, add new loads, 
uh, we need to verify the protection as well as coordination selectivity of devices within the system. As part of the ETAP STAR uh, module, there's an interface that we have pr uh, also provided that talks with the uh, relay testing devices, and one of the devices that we also provide and, and manufacture is uh, ETAP ARTS, which is a relay hardware set that interfaces with ETAP STAR for the purpose of setting the, uh, sending the device curves into um, uh, ETAP STAR and testing the relay uh, curves for a purpose of validating and verifying those curves and seeing if those curves actually match the manufacturer uh, published curves. Uh, in addition to doing transient uh, evaluation or transient testing of the relay curves. We'll talk about that briefly at the, towards the end of my presentation. And the other modules with ETAP, they will be covered again in other webinars, but uh, the focus would be ETAP star and not. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and switch to ETAP and walk through the, uh, the different modules. If you have questions, our uh, technical support uh, he is available. Our panelists are available to answer your questions. Uh, we can certainly get back to you at any, any point during the webinar or afterwards, uh, depending on the nature of the question. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my ETAP presentation. So you should all see uh, ETAP 5.5, which is our latest release on your screen. Uh, certainly you can maximize that screen uh, on, your, uh, on your view. Uh, I will try to go as uh, slow as possible, given the communication probably on your side. Basically what you're looking at is the ETAP 5.5 module uh, enterprise program. Uh, it consists of the, all the features and the modules that we discussed, all encompassed in one software with the special application that you would need to use. Uh, today, as I mentioned, we're, we're focusing on ETAP STAR, but where we start with ETAP STAR is, uh, of course, a one-line diagram. Um, this is an example file that we provide with our demo CD as well, and if you do need to uh, obtain a copy of the demo, you can contact our sales at sales at etap.com for more information on ETAP. Uh, this system that I'm showing you uh, includes um, simply a power grid connected to several transformers going down to different voltage level with the cogen uh, connected to the system. Um, the one line diagram shown in here shows some of the protected devices such as the fuse and breakers and so forth. Um, ETAB has this multidimensional database as uh, you're prob probably familiar with and the multidimensional uh, database provides you a capability of having multiple presentations. Uh, for example, I have the same system uh, in the, this presentation which I named Relay View, and the Relay View uh, actually showing the same system, if I were to put them side by side, uh, same fuse on, on the system. However, in this view, I'm showing my relays on the one-line diagram. And the main purpose for this is so you're capable of doing uh, relay studies, whereas in the other view you might want to do load flow studies and you don't want to be uh, seeing all the relay dip settings or the relay um, uh, protect devices on the one line diagram. So the relay view uh, basically shows you the relays, uh, the protect devices throughout the system, uh, throughout the sub-networks and so forth. ETAP star is again a module within ETAP, so in the ETAP program you have uh, network analysis, you have an edit mode which in this view, you can create your one-line diagram, uh, uh, connect your uh, transformers, your cables, and so forth in the system. You have an instrumentation tool, which allows you to create your instrumentations, um, your CTs, PTs, and connect them to your relays or metering devices, which we use to create this one-line diagram. You also have your um, um, protected devices, such as fuse, contactors, breakers, low-voltage breakers, and so forth, which you use to build a one-line diagram. The other modes within the program are load flow, short circuit, unbalanced load flow, short circuit motor starting, which we'll talk about briefly as we're doing this through the, through the uh, presentation. The mode that we're interested in is ETAP star, and ETAP star is a, a network analysis mode, which provides some tools for you to do this study. I'm going to go ahead and close my other views just to make it easier for you to see. Uh, in the network canal, in the star mode, you have tools available for uh, running short circuit, um, doing sequence of operation, uh, getting reports, and also viewing your TCCs. So the, uh, to just kind of go over the big picture of ETAP, um, what we have set up in ETAP is the capability of 